This is the coin roll. It's one of the most popular coin flourishes. And it's great. It looks good. It's fun to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so to do this, you're going to hold the card, or not the card, the coin in your hand. And um, the size of the coin, you know, it's going to vary from person to person. I typically use a quarter, um, but if your hand is bigger or smaller, you might want to choose a different size. For me, nickels work good, quarters work good. Uh, once you learn this, you can do it with a variety of different sizes. So you're not really restricted by the size all that much. But pick a coin that works for you for now. A uh, quarter is going to work pretty well for most of you. You're going to ha lay it in your hand. And uh, here's what you're going to do. So you're going to contact the coin with your thumb. You're going to turn your hand palm down as you slide that coin all the way up to this position. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to continue to slide that coin up and you're going to let it fall flat on the top of your first finger. Okay. Now notice that my middle finger is raised slightly above my first finger and it acts kind of as a break. Okay. So even if I slant my hand downwards like this, that coin isn't going to move because the, the middle finger is blocking it. Okay, next step is I'm going to lower my middle finger and at the same time I'm kind of raising my first finger just a little bit and that's going to cause that coin to pivot up and then if I continue that motion the coin is going to fall flat on my middle finger. And again now I have my ring finger raised slightly above my middle finger to act as a break so that coin won't move even if my hand is slanted. And I just do the same thing again with the next finger. This time I'm lowering my ring finger, I'm raising my middle finger, that causes the coin to pivot up, and then it's going to fall flat on the next finger. All right, now this takes practice. You know, you're not going to be able to do it the first time. You, you kind of just have to play around with it until you get it. And the next step is going to be the same thing. This time I'm lowering my pinky, raising my ring finger, and now this is actually the hardest part. Okay, I don't have another finger to roll to, so instead I'm going to let that coin fall through the crack in between my middle, or excuse me, in between my ring finger and pinky and I'm going to be catching it on the other side of my hand with my thumb. Okay, so I usually get to something like this position right here and then here's what happens. This is going to be, this is going to be difficult um, for some of you because your thumb isn't going to want to stretch all the way over there. You need to get your thumb on the left side of that coin, so on the side of the coin that's facing your pinky. Okay, so this, this might be a difficult stretch for some of you especially if this is your first time trying this. But as you practice, this will become easier. Your, your fingers will learn to move and flex in different ways, and then you won't really have to uh, struggle with this anymore. Okay, so once you get that dexterity, you're gonna be able to bring your thumb to the left side of that coin. You're gonna push up until it's flat in your palm, and then you're just gonna start the whole cycle all over again. You slide it up to this position, and you're ready to go again. So that's what that looks like. Just pay attention to how I'm doing the slide. Boom. Okay, and once I get to this position, you'll notice that I'm kind of um, turning my hand slightly palm up to help slide. And then I turn my hand palm down for the roll. All right. All right, one final note is that some people I've seen, they like to do the coin roll in the opposite direction. So they actually start at their pinky and then they move towards their first finger. I haven't really practiced this, but you can do it that way. Um, and then of course, when you do the slide, you're, you're just gonna be sliding in the opposite direction. The reason I the reason I recommend the, the first way I taught you is because it's it feels more comfortable this way. Uh, your hand is oriented in a more comfortable position and you can really use gravity to your advantage when you do it in this direction the gravity will really help that coin flip over and fall flat onto the next finger. Whereas if you do it in the opposite direction, your hand has to be kind of positioned upwards like this and it just doesn't feel comfortable. But eventually you might want to learn it both ways and then you can make the coins flip back and forth if that's something you want. But start out with uh, the normal direction just like this and do the, coin, do the coin roll slowly. Don't worry about speed, just practice getting the coin to properly flip over onto the next finger the next finger, and then practice that slide up to the beginning. All right, that's the coin roll. I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this move, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment box below, and I'll try to answer. 
and uh, let me know what you think of that. Okay? Take care.